Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. My total for everything I believe was like $168. That does include some like dishwasher detergent and some milk that I don't have here. I already put that stuff away. Uh, but yeah, let's just get into it. Let's share with you everything that we got, include the prices with you. I'll also be sharing along um, some dinners that I'm gonna be making this week. So let's just jump right into it. So first up, I got the shredded potatoes hash browns. This is actually for a soup that I'm gonna be doing. Um, so yeah, first time trying that, but instead of like real potatoes, how easy is it to just throw this into the crock pot for some soup? So hopefully it turns out really well. Um, I've never actually, I don't think I've ever gotten their shredded potatoes before and it is resealable, which is really nice. So I probably will be getting this again uh, for some breakfast because that is really convenient. I got my husband some pastrami style smoked salmon, unique smoke of apple, cherry, oak and maple wood so he's gonna like this on top of some bagels and cream cheese I got some organic uncured black forest ham for some sandwiches this week and then over here for a dinner that I'm gonna be making I got the ready-to-bake pizza dough as well as this cheese I picked up this blend of Parmesan Asiago Fontina and mild provolone cheeses I thought that would be good I'm be doing a strombolini this week for dinner so that's what I needed the dough for and the cheese and then I've got like the pepperoni and stuff you can do different varieties you can do like buffalo chicken chicken bacon ranch like there's so many different ways that you can do the strombolini so I'm excited to make that I picked up my favorite garlic naan in the frozen section, four pieces of this. I love to have this in the freezer for easy lunches for myself. And then I grabbed some jalapeno peppers, some green onions, the teeny tiny avocados, a bag of lemons, and a bag of limes and some cilantro because I'm going to be making some homemade guacamole. I'm going to be doing some chicken fajitas uh, for dinner this week. So I needed all the ingredients for homemade guacamole for that. Well, as some um, tricolor bell peppers because got to have bell peppers for the chicken fajitas. I got the chicken chow mein. Um, it says that it serves three and it looks really good. So I'm excited to try that. And then I also got the chicken spring rolls to pair with this. This is with white Chicken meat, basil, garlic, and ginger. I have had these before and they are so good. So I got that for an easy dinner tonight. And then I also got the black bean and cheese taquitos. These are really good um, and you're, I'm not even vegetarian and they're really good and there's no meat in them as well too. So grab that. We grabbed a block of cream cheese as well as some organic grass-fed uncured beef hot dogs. My son loves these for an easy lunch or dinner. So. We picked that up as well as the everything bagels for my husband for his smoked salmon. And then um, I got these for the sandwiches for the week. The everything ciabatta rolls comes with four of these. These are so good. Over here, I've got my favorite ice cream sandwiches. The sublime ice cream sandwiches comes with four of them. They're so good and it's been a while since we picked these up. So wanted to go back to one of my favorites. We needed some organic heavy whipping cream as well as I got some of this pub cheese. I got the cheddar with horseradish this time. My favorite way to use this is I add this in bean burrito. So I'm gonna be doing a big batch of frozen bean burritos, homemade, and I like to add this in there and the way it melts into the bean burrito, it just bumps your frozen bean burritos up a notch in my opinion. So grab that, gonna be making a big batch of that for lunches this month. Over here, I was so happy to find the crispy jalapeno pieces back in stock. It was back in stock at my store, so if you guys have been looking for it check them out I grabbed two of these I probably should have grabbed four because I am obsessed with these and I just opened up my last box of them I add these on everything you guys um, I add them on top of my salads I add them in my breakfast burritos my grilled cheese sandwiches it just gives it a perfect crunch and a little bit of spice to anything that you want so if you have not tried these and you like spiciness definitely pick them up because they are back and they are so good so I stocked up on those um, for some reason, my Costco has not been having like tomato sauce and tomato paste um, in stock. I don't know what is going on. So I picked up just two things of the tomato paste um, and then I got one big thing of San Marzano tomatoes. I'm gonna be making like a pasta dish that called for this. I got one thing of fire roasted diced green chilies and diced and fire roasted tomatoes with the green chilies. Next item I have never tried before but I saw this and it sounded really good. So this is the pepita salsa. And let me share with you guys the ingredients on it because it really intrigued me. Tomatoes, onions, bell pepper, 
burger, roasted pepitas, like all that. So this sounds really interesting. You guys will have to let me know if you guys have had this salsa and if you enjoy it or not. I'm excited to give it a try. It's something different. I picked up the best crackers, the red chili scalloped crackers. I've been doing some charcuterie boards lately, uh, so we definitely needed those crackers to add on top of that. Um, I needed some more rice. The organic jasmine rice has been my favorite recently. And then over here is a new seasoning. This is the cheesy seasoning blend. Add some cheesiness to popcorn, vegetables, and pasta. So I thought this was great. I think the kids will really like this on top of their popcorn. So that's probably where I'm gonna try it. Here are the ingredients. So it does contain milk and there are the nutrition facts on that new seasoning. And over here, I just picked this up for my son, the organic creamy cashew yogurt. I grabbed him the vanilla one. And then I have been wanting to try this. This is the cinnamon bun spread. This sounds delicious. We have been loving the maple butter, and I think this will be a lovely addition to that, the cinnamon bun spread, so we picked that up. I needed some sun-dried tomatoes. This is my favorite, so I got that one. This is the one in olive oil. Another item that is becoming a staple here in this house, the peri peri sauce. This is absolutely delicious. I love to pair it with anything chicken. So chicken quesadillas, chicken tacos are my favorite. It's just so good. And I opened up my last bottle, um, so I wanted to stock back up on this sauce while it's there. Got two of my favorite um, alcohol selection. This one is the grapefruit wine specialty, so good. And then the Love Olivia peach, two of my favorites and so affordable. So I always love to stock up on that. And we haven't tried these, but I thought this was so cute. The Howling Gourds Pumpkin Ale. It's just, I love the packaging, it's so cute. And I'm sure Brent will like this as well too. I'm gonna give it a try. Over here, I'm always looking for some more lunch options for Tristan because of all his allergies. So I'm gonna try to see if he will eat some tuna and some gluten-free crackers. So I got two cans of the Skip Jack tuna, and then to pair with it, of course, the vegan mayonnaise spread and dressing. I did pick this up when it first came out, and we tried it, but after I tried it, I realized that the jar looked like it had been opened before. Um, so I returned it. Returning is so easy at Trader Joe's. If you guys don't like anything or anything that is defective, just return it. It's so easy. So I grabbed a new one of this to pair with the tuna, so hopefully he likes that. Over here is another new item. This is the spicy Jollof seasoned rice mix. It's with dried tomatoes, onions, and garlic. This sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Let's turn it around here for you guys. Those are the nutrition facts on it. Four grams of protein and the ingredients. So curious to see if we're going to like this one or not. I got some more of the maple and sea salt kettle corn. The whole family loved this. This popcorn is so good. And then I got the kids some more of these cookies. The kids absolutely love these soft-baked sunflower butter cookies, totally allergy-friendly, so if you guys are looking for that, definitely pick these cookies up. And then over here, my son's favorite cereal. I had to pick that up for him. The almond butter puff cereal, as well as some gluten-free waffle. So yeah, guys, that is everything that I got this week at Trader Joe's. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Uh, there won't be a taste test video just because I think there's, I only grabbed like two new items, so it wouldn't be enough to do a whole video over it, but there will be a Costco video going up on Monday. So stay tuned for that video. I will see you guys in that one. Bye.